be an interesting one here, yeah. So the thing I heard about Mewtwo uh, recently that is a nerf towards him is that his tail is now like a hurt box. So if you dash dance with Mewtwo, when you turn around, uh, your tail is like able to get hit, which is so unfortunate. What the heck? Hold on, yeah. Kataro. Hold on, Kataro. This ain't Samus. It, what oh. the heck is this? Uh, okay, all right. This is a nice mix-up. Um, it kind of looks like Samus, though. You know, it, yeah, it kind of looks like Samus. You know how like people always wondering, like, <laughs> Like, Samus, uh, how is... All right, I'm not going to get into that. But let's just get into the... I don't know if you know what I was going to say. But we got Hug, Hugs playing... Um, dude, Kyle's playing Samus. That's pretty cool. All right, man. This is me going to at an anime convention right here. <laughs> Except his, his arm cannon actually works. All right, Pax East is this weekend. Oh, you're OD. All right. There's the back air... Or back throw. Excuse me. There's the back oh air that gosh. time. Yes, that was really smart. Had to go for the Ooh. high recovery, but just wasn't quite enough to snap the legs of the stage. It's a really good situation awareness right here from D though, but I really say I really gotta say I really like the conditioning right here from Hugs. Using that grenade down special and then using the invisible shot that forward special. To try to get um, try to kill two birds with one stone right there. Try to okay. put on as much damage as possible. There it is, is once that? more. It's like I don't know he had oh no, but you're dead though. Oh wait no, you don't you don't go into free fall stage after that move. Like you did in Smash 4. Oh wow. Yeah, because in, in Smash 4 you would go into free fall animation. It doesn't uh, it doesn't do that anymore. That move game. can KO and it, it's so silent. Yeah. So you kind of get just thrown across the stage. Like, does it like explode at a certain point, or if it hits you? Oh, oh he's dead. my. Okay. You have to watch out how he's using those projectiles off stage. Yeah. So you can actually control when it explodes, um, or you can just hold it and it, it goes to maximum distance and explodes as well. But damn, that back air hitting like a ton of bricks. That's another thing too, man. He has a really, really good back air. Wait, does this game come with the Samus outfit, or did like? Like, <laughs> like, you know how like you have to pay sometimes for the outfits? I was wondering if it comes with the same outfit. You think you had to pay for this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, that back air. Oh, nice. Using the up air for coverage. Good stuff. Really good combo starter. And it auto cancels as well, too. Hey, I love the offstage pressure right here from uh, D, man. That's one of the great things about Mewtwo. You can pressure really good onstage with Nair. And forward air, of course. Then the back air for your troubles. But it's the forward air that seals the deal right there. Not the strongest showing right there from Hugs. But again, like we always say, that's what game number two is for. Um, a lot of good stuff right there with this Me Gunner. A lot of areas where he kind of, uh, kind of dropped the ball a little bit. Figuratively, not literally. Because that grenade is a ball, too. <laughs> See, that's the thing I'm talking about with Me Gunner. Like, you could throw all this cool stuff. But then if they just get past it, it's like a... He kind of feels like a weaker snake, but he could put on more aggression because he could shoot stuff that explode. Like, I know Snake can, but it takes a while for his grenades to explode. His down B, you have to place it, and then you have to, like, kind of land on it. That's right. But um, I, I we'll see. Maybe I feel like he just had a bad start, and it was really hard for him to catch back up. So he nearly got JV3 stocked. However, I, I do firmly believe that Hugs could bring us back. We got Battlefield. He has to take advantage of the fact that Mewtwo doesn't land very comfortably. Obviously, Mewtwo has historically had a really hard time getting his feet back onto the stage. He has to be able to take full advantage of that. All right, because, you know, Me Gunner, um, contrary to popular release, though this character is a zoner, this character hits like a ton of bricks up close and personal. Nice. Oh, wow. See, okay. See, that move is beautiful. I would just use that way more. Oh, nice. Yeah. Damn, that move comes out quick in this one, too. I didn't exactly. know how fast it came out. I, I would just use that move a whole bunch more. Like, like how can Mewtwo approach you from the ground, especially the platforms? Oh, okay, using Confusion to kind of toss it back at him, though. Okay, tries to go for the B-reverse uh, down special. See, the thing I'm noticing about Hugs, too, is he likes to be randomly aggressive. So he can just throw all this stuff all day, but he's like, you know what? I'm going to just run into neutral air. <laughs> and then that's where he gets kind of hit by Mewtwo. Because Mewtwo, again, is having trouble from far away. He's not doing anything. Right. But as soon as uh, the character gets close, that's when he get, has trouble. Oof. And that forward, or that back throw, excuse me, is... Um, it's pretty Falco-esque. You know, Falco has to back throw and then like that that one shot from the gun sometimes can yeah. be enough to KO you. Um, and Me Gunner kind of has a little bit Ooh. of that in him as well, too. Nice Ooh. stuff. It's the stage <laughs> spike with the down special. Good stuff right there to hugs. All right, Takes there the go. lead, but for how long? All right, I like how he did that, dropping that bomb so that it could be able to cover his landing. And this Mewtwo keeps reflecting that bomb, messing things up a little bit. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, I'm liking this, and still the aggression coming out, but he's not getting punished this time around. He's doing a lot better with it. Yeah, dash attack's really good on, on Me Gunner's behalf. Really hard for the opponent to deal with it. Okay, drops Ooh, the I like that. Yeah. Drops the uh, bomb on the platform so it can land right at the ledge where the Mewtwo was. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, nice. The forward tilt. I forgot about that. The KO option right here for, uh, for Mewtwo in this game. All right, so now I don't blame him for going aggressive. He does have, like, a whole stock lead. I had a strong feeling that he just needed to be able to get a good percent lead in the beginning. He'd be fine. All right, looking for that reflecting. Okay, he knows. Yeah, he knows what's Ooh, up. Oh, my, my gosh. gosh. Oh, Dude, okay, he learned, he learned his this? lesson. All right, he's doing a lot better with his spacing and using his projectiles just 
fantastically now. And I've also forgot we haven't seen any forward smashes from. We've seen a lot of down smashes. We've seen one up smash attempt, and I really like up smash and scoops from both sides. But forward smash uh, covers a lot of distance as well, man. Yeah. Especially if you do like pivot forward smash from the ledge, it gives off and lets the opponent know. Uh, that they cannot roll onto the stage, they can't do neutral get up. You have to just sometimes let me gonna toss out force smashes because of how much distance it covers. True. All right, so I'm hoping to see some more projectiles, but Hugo just running straight in and doing an up smash. Fantastic punish, especially because there's a dash attack on him. But again, this is like the perfect percent to just hang back. However, you, you can follow up after these like bombs sometimes. That's right. Okay, another grenade, and then nice. I love that little setup right there, forcing to recover Ooh. high. Gets it with the near. Gets the semi-charge shot, can't too. Get back on the stage. Oh, my gosh. The edge trapping right now oh, from Hugs. Fantastic. He, he lets him get back on the stage for, like, one second. He's like, okay, that's nice. And did you see how the, how the or I don't know if it's a grenade. The bomb exploded, and he shot another one right behind it, so you couldn't even see him sneak that in. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of sneaky right there, the short hop forwarder over the forward smash. There Ooh. it is. Okay, he tried to go for it that time. Wow. And this was a complete turnaround. He got absolutely destroyed the first game. Then he destroys his opponent, but destroys D the second game. I have no idea how this third game will go. I might sorry. depend on the stage. I'm sorry I ever doubted that me, man. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have doubted it because it was in a Samus outfit. I just, think, I just think he had a bad beginning. Yeah. Mewtwo can be a little overwhelming sometimes for zoners. Um, you know, Mewtwo has some pretty good zone breaking uh, tools. Uh, down tilt lets Mewtwo in. Um, obviously not quite as good in this game as it was in the last game, but you know, still lets him in. Um, and then, of course, the fact that he has the ability to recover, or uh, excuse me, uh, reflect projectiles, excuse me, uh, could really hurt zoners as well. But I think Hugs really did a really good job of just kind of playing around that. Um, didn't quite let himself get tossed off stage, so he said, look, I got projectiles. I just need to spam them for dear life. Chances are Mewtwo can't take too many grenades. He's not going to take too many forward airs. Uh, as we know, Mewtwo very historic, uh, historically has been very light uh, throughout his time in Smash. So, Okay, only 6% on that shot and 10% coming out from Mewtwo. All right, I like that. Dash away, dash back in, dash attack. All right, we need some bombs. There we go. Oh, no, he's going aggressive. Uh -oh. Here's the scary part. Remember, those, that situation of going aggressive, it didn't work the first game. Not sure if it worked the second game. Right now, he's having trouble with it. I need to space out and just throw the, those bombs. Ooh, nice. There we go. I like that he goes for um for Nair a lot after down throw or after up throw. But what yeah. I, I would like to see more is that if he could read Mewtwo's directional air dodge, which I know is really hard to do, up air lasts quite a bit, and it, it will catch an air dodge animation once it's over from me, Gunner. Yep. Uh, his up air is kind of like just like his uh, forward smash. It's like he's shooting. I don't know what type of bullets those are, but yeah. whatever they are, damn it, they hurt. <laughs> yeah, that, like there's no way to know the names of these. Like, me, Gunner doesn't even have any lore. He doesn't have a video game. <laughs> Man, what are you talking about, bro? Did you not play Wii Sports? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. all these moves from Wii Sports, and I didn't know it? He's an actual character? Oh, the, the high recovery, man, but met with the back air right there from D. 80% on board, though. Ooh, oh, okay. you know, that, that could have been a grab, but not a strong punish coming out from D. So it doesn't matter too much. Oh, and back, back row. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my yeah, head, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of my head, boy. All right, but let's see how the edge guarding goes. Okay, that was fantastic. He actually got lucky on that one and almost KOs. I think KOs pretty early. Mm. I swear Hugo wasn't using that attack a while ago. Oh, nice. Trying to go for a setup there. That was a good setup. He just mistimed it a little bit. Boom. Oh, oh that's yours, goodness. sir. Got to watch out. There it is. Oh, oh, but it auto cancels, though. He got to see back on stage before the final wow. uh, the final couple frames of that. Okay, that dash attack. All right, this character might be a little better than I thought. Oh, no. He got him with the drop zone there. My goodness. Better watch yourself. Hugo was not expecting that. Oh, that's yours. Okay, reflected back at him. Nice stuff. He has to jump over the grenade. He understood that that wasn't his. Good situation awareness right there from Hugs. D, though, playing very well right now. There it is. Uh-uh. All right, he's waiting for these shield grabs. I've noticed he's looking for that a lot. You two not doing so many grabs. And again, that dash away, dash back in, dash attack. Okay, and there it goes. <laughs> but this time with the grab. Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, nice. That forward tilt, I love that. Saves his jump, smart stuff. Goes back to, oh, oh try no. to snap the left. Not a good position to be in at all. Yeah, he's always been having a little bit of trouble with his recovery. Like one of the times he did a Steve back throw. Let's see. Okay, bit of a fake out right there. Doesn't quite, you don't get quite the trajectory off of confusion in this game like you did in Smash 4, but it's still a really good stalling option. That's rough. Back nah. throw, be gone. All right, he might be an up throw percent of KO. And okay, that was nice. Oh okay. my! He needs his KO right now. And he's looking really hard for it. Oh. Dash attack. Gotta shoot that thingy. <laughs> whatever, whatever that thingy is, gotta shoot that thingy. Shoot it, you know? shoot that. Just shoot the other thingy, but that's gonna be a KO yeah. with the up throw. The, uh, gotta be a lot more safe whenever doing stuff like that. Okay, what's going on? 
I like the crowd popping off right here for their boy. All right, well, good stuff to our boy D. Uh, he did a fantastic job. All right, his buddy right there. That might be his roommate or something. You know, um, that was a real hug. 